This time cycle in this video, we are looking at two-dimensional motion with variable acceleration. So the relationship between displacement, velocity, and acceleration is the same for two-dimensional motion as it is for one-dimensional motion, which we looked at before. So this relationship starts with displacement. Then displacement, in order to get displacement to velocity, you differentiate. In order to get velocity to go to acceleration, you also differentiate. Then to get from acceleration to velocity, you integrate. And to get from velocity to displacement, you also integrate. So that is the thing you need to remember, the same for one or two dimensional motion. And we have looked at that before. But the first question says that a particle starts from the point whose position vector is 2i plus 3j, its velocity at time t is given by v is equal to 4t minus 2i plus 3t squared j meters per second, work out its position when t is equal to 2 seconds. So this is a question wanting us to go from velocity to displacement position. So therefore velocity to displacement we're going to have to integrate. So therefore, we're starting with this velocity, v is equal to 4t minus 2, and that's i, and then plus 3t squared j. Now, therefore, s is going to be, if we integrate this, we're going to get 2t squared minus 2t, and that's i. That's going to be plus t cubed j, and then we have to remember plus c. Now, in order to work out what c is, we know that its position vector is 2i plus 3j, and it also starts, this is its starting position. So therefore, t, which is time, is going to be 0. So that means that if t is 0, then s is going to be 2i plus 3j, Those are going to cancel out because that's going to be 0, 0. That's going to cancel out as well, 0. So that means that it's just C. So therefore, what we are left with is S is equal to 2T squared minus 2T plus 2, because we have a 2 here of the I, and that's I, and then plus T cubed plus 3 uh, j. So finally, to finish it off, we need to put 2, t is equal to 2 in this. So we sub 2 into this, and what we're going to get from subbing 2 into this, we shall get 8 minus 4 plus 2 i, and then that's going to be plus 8 plus 3j That is equal, therefore, our final answer is going to be 6i plus 11j. So the second question we have here is looking at differentiation. And this, because it gives us the position vector, r is the position vector of 0, and then that's displacement. And it's asking us first to find the velocity, and then the acceleration. So first of all, we will find the velocity from the find the velocity from the uh, displacement, which means that we're going to differentiate. So therefore, differentiating three t cubed is going to give us nine t squared. Then minus t is going to give us minus one, and then three is not going to differentiate to give anything. So that's our i, and then plus differentiating this, we're going to get. 40 plus 2 and that is j so that is velocity so we can say that this is meters per second but in order to get from velocity to acceleration we're going to have to differentiate this once again so differentiate, uh, differentiating 90 squared is going to give us 18t 
So it's 18t and that's i. And then differentiating this is going to give us plus 4j. And that's meters per second squared. So this question is a bit more problem solving. And it says that after t seconds, a particle has position vector 3t squared minus 4i plus 2t squared plus 12tj. So find the time at which the particle is traveling on a bearing of 45 degrees. Now, if we imagine 45 degrees, what we've got if this was a triangle would be this, this, and then this here is 45 degrees. So then what we're going to have here, opposite, we have a certain number, and then here we have a certain number, and we know that tan 45 is equal to 1. So therefore, that means that tan minus 1, so inverse tan of 1, is going to be equal to 45. So that means that the opposite over adjacent must be equal to 1. In other words, they must be the same. So in order to do this, this has to be velocity. So we find out um, the, which the direction of something by working out the velocity, the i component there and the j component there. So first of all, that means we're going to have to differentiate this. So v is therefore equal to 6 t, that's i, and then that's plus 4 t plus 12, and that's j. So therefore, the i and the j components has to be equal, so we will say that 6 t is equal to 4 t plus 12. Therefore, 2t is going to be equal to 12. So t is going to be equal to 6 seconds. Then b is asking us to find the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle. So we have velocity here. In order to find the acceleration, we're just going to have to differentiate that one, uh, one more time to get 6i plus 4j. But that's not the magnitude, it does ask us for the magnitude. In order to get this, we're going to do Pythagoras' theorem. We can do 6 squared plus 4 squared. And that is equal to 7.2 meters per second squared. So in our final question, it says that a particle P has acceleration 3t minus 3i plus 2t minus 4j meters per second squared, where t is the time in seconds. So initially, P has velocity minus 4i plus 4j meters per second. So first of all, we need to find an expression for the velocity of P in terms of t. And we have the acceleration, we're going from acceleration to velocity, that means we're going to have to do some integration. So if we start this off, we'll integrate this to see what we get. So that's going to go 3 over 2 t squared, then minus 3 t, and then that's going to be i. So to get j, we'll integrate this to give us t squared minus 4t. But of course, we have the plus c. So that's acceleration, and we know that's velocity, sorry. And we know that initially, p has velocity minus 4i plus 4j. So therefore, because initially means t is going to be 0, that's all going to cancel out, which means that c is going to be equal to minus 4i plus 4j. So therefore, our final answer is going to be v is equal to 3 over t, 3 over 2 t squared, 
minus 3t, minus 4i plus t squared minus 4t plus 4j. So that's the first part of this question. But then B, it asks us to find velo the velocities at the two times P when it's moving parallel to the vector 2i plus j. Now in order to do this, we have to look at our first part, and this has to be parallel to 2i, which means that we're going to add parallel, it just means times something. So we're going to add a k in front of that. So therefore, for i, we'll start off by just looking at i. So 3 over 2t squared minus 3t minus 4. And that's going to be equal to k times by 2. So therefore, we can say that k is going to be equal to 3 over 4t squared, then minus 3 over 2t and minus 2. So that's one value for k. Then we need to look at j, and we can find out that j, so t squared minus 4t plus 4. Now that's going to be equal to k times by 1. So that's just going to be equal to k. So therefore we have our two values of k. And this means that as k is equal to that and k is equal to that, that means that that is then equal to that. So we've got there 3 quarters t squared minus 3 over 2t minus 2 is equal to t squared minus 4t plus 4. So to get this into one quadratic equation, we'll take everything of this side onto this side. So that means that we're going to keep with a positive value of t squared. So first of all, we'll do t squared minus 3 quarters t squared, which is going to be a quarter t squared. And then we'll have minus 4t plus 3 over 2t. And that is going to be equal to minus 5 over 2t. And then we've got to have 4 and then minus minus 2, which is going to be plus 6. That's equal to 0. Put this in your calculator. You get 2. t is equal to 6. And t is equal to 4. But we haven't finished quite yet, as it asks for the velocities at the two times of t. So we have our values of t. We also have our thing for velocity here. So we'll say when t is equal to 6, we will put it all in. So we've got 3 over 2 times by, uh, 6 squared minus 3 times t minus 4. That's equal to 32i. And then t squared, so 6 squared minus 4 times 6 plus 4, that's equal to plus 16j. So that's one value for v. And then when t is equal to 4, what we're going to get is, so 3 over 2 times by 16 minus 3 times uh, 4 minus 4, that's equal to 8i. And then this one is going to be 16 minus 16 plus 4, so plus 4j. So that's our two values for v at t is equal to 6 and t is equal to 4. So a bit of a longer question to finish off there. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.